So I think an EHR has helped us in terms of patient safety and quality in, in two different ways. So there's the data side of that and there's the functional side of that. On the data side, an EHR allows us to capture data. And as a result of that, we can mine that data, we can see where we've had good outcomes, and we can reproduce that. Uh, on the functional side, it just it's led to better, better uh, coordination of care. So I'm a rheumatologist, I'm a subspecialist, and I deal with patients who have multiple chronic diseases, diabetes, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and often the medications that I give patients adversely affect other diseases that I'm not managing. And it can affect their kidney function, their renal function, and, and all sorts of things that certainly impact the way I take care of them. Uh, steroids is a great example. We give a lot of steroids in rheumatology, but that causes diabetes. It causes hypertension. And so I need to know what's going on with my patients from a very holistic, comprehensive uh, vantage point, and an EHR allows me to do that in a way that I just always had difficulty doing with the paper record. Sure. So in a lot of ways, there are some small changes to expect, and there are some large changes to expect. In the, in the beginning, there's, there's a lot of um, sort of uh, onboarding and a lot to learn, and there's, there's kind of a steep learning curve. But I think once you get past that initial hurdle, it's very much the same as practicing on a paper record. So just as you used to look up vital signs before and labs before um, through a, a paper chart, now you're able to do it electronically. So there are some smaller sort of changes, um, really in terms of the interfaces you might be using, um, the, the workflows that you might have in your practice. But at the end of the day, you're still practicing medicine. That hasn't changed. The EHR is not going to change the way that you, you, know, you treat a diabetic, you treat a hypertensive. So it's, it's not going to be this, this scary revolution uh, that I think a lot of providers have made it out to be. So I think one of the biggest problems is a lot of providers think that an EHR is going to be a magic bullet. They think that they can just flip the switch and turn on the EHR and all of their practice problems are going to go away. And while that sounds great, it, it's simply not the case. So I think the best thing for providers to do is to sit down, talk with their staff, talk with their partners, really understand what their problems are within their practice that they hope an EHR is going to solve. So understanding themselves, setting goals and expectations early on, and then going about the process of getting there.